Hello, hello, and welcome back to Game Beater Displays the Long Dark on Interloper. And we are in the camp office. This is episode 4 of season 3. So, just about to get some sleep because I am nearing exhaustion. Um, what is that there? <laughs> There's a book that is clipped through the floor. Yeah, that's quite cool. Anyway, uh, sleep, yes, sleep. I need sleep, so I need to drink some water, I need to eat some food. Uh, now, decisions, decisions. I think, I think I'm gonna eat these pork and beans because I'm gonna lose a lot of it, I know. I don't have a can opener. 18% is not massively bad it's not great either but I can't afford to keep eating cattail stalks because this is currently my only source of food if I run out though I suppose I do have the option of going back to fall on musk egg to grab some more we're gonna be sleeping for nine hours fingers crossed oh well, that might be handy if the, uh, oh, okay. <laughs> I was just about to say, that's going to be handy if the Aurora's still on and we wake up in the middle of the night, which we kind of did, but the, uh, Aurora stopped. So for those of you that don't know, I'm the Aurora starving. is, uh, it's the geomagnetic anomaly, if you like, anomaly, um, and it causes all the electrics to, uh, come on. It's quite cool because you can look at computers and things uh, you can't really do anything with them oh dear I've got myself lost mm, I need to find a win what was that I need to find a window okay there's a window right what I'm looking for is this cupboard there we go apologies for that guys right two liters of water left uh, ten liters of water left so now I don't need to. No, I don't actually need to be carrying around this because I have these. So today's plan. What is today's plan? I think I might try and head over to the dam. Conditions pretty okay. It's getting better. Uh, break down some of this. Get some more. And some more. Now I think actually, thinking about it, pff, you can see the floor. Yes, these rabbits are cured, but the uh, gut won't be yet. But we're getting closer to being able to um, make, I'll probably make the hat first and the mitts later. I've only got the improvised hats so they're not the best of things and I've got these as gloves which aren't amazing um, but they're certainly better than, oh are well, they? Well, actually they're not, they're pretty rubbish to be honest. Let me have a look at the rabbit gloves quickly. Let's have a look at the difference. So the hat is more, more pelts, less guts. Yeah, more, oh no, the rabbit skins. I need four, which I do have four, and two guts, which does leave me one for the line. Plus two, plus two, 50% waterproof, 5% uh, and this is plus two plus one point five thirty percent so actually I think I may just go ahead and make the gloves you know possibly because these are actually all pretty much identical yeah I think I'm gonna make the gloves mind you Ah, it's difficult. 
We'll decide. We'll decide later. There's no point me just sitting here boring you guys as I decide what I'm going to be doing. Alright. Today though, it's going to be cold outside. And I kind of need to... I suppose I could sleep a little bit more. Does mean eating a bit more food. Um, which we're quickly running out of. One. Two. That's 300. That allows me to sleep for three hours. That should be okay. Alright. So. Just make sure that I have. I'm not carrying any extra stuff that I don't need. need. I don't need these I'm cans these of spray, to be honest. They're just uh, too heavy. Don't really do a lot. Oh, and uh, something else I found as well, obviously, is the pry bar. I didn't have the the pry bar in the original episode. If you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, go back and see uh, last the last episode. Uh, explain how I um, succumbed once again to a wolf. Um, don't need all this, all these. So let's drop some of these. Right, let's go. Hopefully, the weather is fair today, and we can go and do a bit of exploring. Yes, look at that. Excellent. Now, can I start a fire? Yes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start a fire quickly. Um, and then, let me grab some sticks quickly. I'm going to start a fire quickly with this magnifying glass. Go back upstairs make fire, cook up that rabbit meat that I have out here and then hopefully the day will be a little bit warmer as well actually I can just cook it out here I guess it's not going to take me that long to I don't need any water for the minute Die if I don't get some food soon. let's put this somewhere where if it does get windy it might be a little bit protected there we go. Okay. So... So yeah, gonna start this fire, cook the rabbit meat up, and then that gives me a meal for tonight. And then... See how long this rabbit stuff is going to take. <laughs> 38 minutes. 18 minutes. So we're going to have to put in a piece of reclaimed wood. Gives us 54 minutes. Okay. I am getting hypothermia. So, 16 minutes for that one, and 35 minutes for that one. Come on. Oh, it's so cold. Do you get zinc? Well, I guess I can uh, always cook some water up. In here. Ooh. Yeah, smelt some snow up. I think a litre. It's going to be 30 minutes. And I think I have a can as well. Yep, good. Um, let's make some herbal tea. If I keep making this herbal tea, that's going to allow me to get some condition back later today. 
Oop, didn't mean to do that. And this water is nearly boiled. Thirty-seven minutes. You know what? I might just keep. I might just cook up. Oop. going to cook up some water. It's still quite cold so I want to um, sorry I'm <laughs> thinking. I want to uh, I want to use this fire to maximize my um, to maximize the things that I can do with it. So I can also prepare some um, rose hips, I believe. Yep. And this will allow me to have a bit of healing later. I don't think I've got any more tea. No, I don't. But I can prepare those. Okay. Wind is coming in. You can hear the wind picking up a little bit. But it's okay. Let's cook a bit of water in here. Okay, um. we need one more. The wind is coming that way, so and ten minutes. Break down this quickly. Come back near the fire. enough to get a torch. I will need a torch. Is there uh, any more sticks around I can quickly grab? Mm, oh, there's one. There is one. Is that going to give me enough fire time to collect a torch? There we go. Excellent. Damn it, didn't want to put that piece of coal on the fire. How long have we got? 59 minutes, so I might as well use that then to boil some more water. He's gone. <laughs> Damn it, I didn't want to put the fire, I didn't want to uh, put that on there. Be cold. Apologies, guys, I've but my brain's a bit, um, a little bit tired today. So my brain isn't working. Not that it usually works. So I can, though, grab more. There we go. So we've got three torches. No way of lighting them, but that's okay. So there was one wolf there, and we can, I think, rather than take this food with. Oh, come on, wolf. Well, I was going to go and go out um, and have a little wander around, so let's just waste some time in here quickly. 
damn wolf is getting too close for comfort. Really need to get find some tools. That's why I want to kind of go over towards the um, dam. See if I can't find myself the heavy hammer. Again, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that today though. Another episode of just hanging around and not doing very much. Okay, got loads of cloth now, so that's good. There we go. Okay. So, let's go and have a look if Mr. Wolf is still outside. Always make sure to duck. And I can't see him. Alright. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Nice weather. Sunny. Warm. Conditions okay. So what terrible thing is going to befall me as soon as I fall, go over this hill? Because uh, this seems too good to be true. Wow, no wolves that I can see yet. Awesome. Well, is my luck changing somewhat? A little bit for today. This is good. I can actually get out and do some stuff. So I'm just going to go and collect some sticks very quickly. go. Oh. Grab that one as well. So yeah, so I'm going to check out this train quickly and then I'm going to... then I'm going to go and try and see if I can't climb up. Well, go to the cabins first and then climb up to up to the lookout tower which is where I actually died in the other timeline of this story <laughs> yeah. but I did find a magnifying glass up there nice nice well much needed food my food stores are running low until I find a hacksaw and whatnot I'm kind of living off my cat cattail stalks which is not ideal. Yeah I don't know where all the all the wolves are today but I am enjoying this momentary quietness. Nice, nice. Loads of food. Some simple tools. Now I could start a fire here. If I go and gather up some you know what? That is what I'm gonna do. That is what I'm going to do. I'm going to gather up as many sticks as I can. Start a fire. And harvest that carcass if I can. I don't know. Well, I need to look how much meat is on there. But the hide will be handy. The hide will be handy. But given what I've got, I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it hot enough. Let's see how much it's ravaged. So I need to get it down to 50%. So this is a good idea, I think, though. This is a very good idea. Not to blow my own trumpet. Uh, yeah, Come get on. this deer carcass melted or thawed not melted I want to thaw it out and then harvest it and then um, that gives me one deer hide and some more guts and a tiny bit of meat hopefully that I can uh, 
use for a little bit more survival. So I'm going to need a long fire here. A long, long fire. Because I also need to harvest it as well. For 10 minutes. minutes all right so I hope I have enough time to actually harvest it without getting too cold because it's getting a bit dark or well, the Sun is dropping temperatures dropping a little bit oh come on wind don't you blow in now wind is blowing in come on fifty percent okay just put all these sticks on their remaining sticks and let's try it Could be dodgy. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, that was very, very risky and very stupid of me. But we survived. Let's haul this carcass back as quickly as we can. That was very very risky should not have done that I keep doing this on interloper taking unnecessary risks but we got one and a half kilo of meat we got a deer hide and we got some more guts I've never felt so cold in my life so that's good. Now there was a wolf out here before. But he's gone. He's gone. Okay. Um, so, didn't go quite as according to plan as I hoped. However, I've got some more meat, so that is a good thing. And what I'm thinking of is maybe starting a fire outside and coming indoors for the night. And cooking up my meat and maybe just a tad more water. I think that's going to be enough sticks I think yeah that should be enough let's drink some water quickly yeah that was very risky of me if that temperature had been less than minus one or one arrow down I could have been in serious trouble then I don't really know why I did that but I got away with it so that's really all that matters at the moment. My condition has dropped down considerably. However, I'm not too worried about that because I do have herbal tea, which I will be drinking a nice hot cup of herbal tea later. So can I get a fire started? Probably not in this weather now. Near yeah, damn. Too late, I should have done it earlier. Never mind, it doesn't matter. We have some rabbit meat here to eat. Not gonna need it all, but gonna need some of it. Ooh. So things to do today in here to pass some time. I can I thought that was a Polaroid then. Still haven't found a Polaroid I don't think. 
The Polaroids allow you to uh, look at the area. Like when you survey, you can survey a huge area. But I haven't been able to do that yet. So we got these guts almost cured. So we might actually be able to go ahead and make something in the next episode. Um, I think for today though. Yeah, two wood and seven sticks didn't quite need seven sticks. Oh. What else? No. What the hell was that? <laughs> um. I yeah, got my tea. Don't need all these teas. So some of these teas can stay in here. Oh, wrong door. Some of these teas can stay over here. Um, gonna drink one tonight. I want to keep one on me. Gonna start storing some of these cans because I have enough now. Enough food, I believe, to keep. I'm gonna keep that. Keep that. These are going to be dodgy eating these. But we are okay. We survived another day. So, guys, let's, before I sleep, see if I can fix any of my clothes. Don't have any leather to fix that up. Well, I suppose I might as well. I suppose I might as well, it will pass the time. Okay, once more, otherwise I'm not gonna I'm just gonna Okay, did it. I was gonna say, if it didn't do it that time I was gonna give up. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and drink, I believe, and then sleep. So I'm, I will be waking up at a uh, odd time. Oh actually no, I still want to pass the time. I still wanna I want to do something else. Um, can I prepare any? Nope. No. Let's go ahead and prepare some bandages. That's going to pass a little bit of time. Um, you know what? Yeah, that would do. Um, yeah, so go ahead, drink my tea. I drink myself a bit. Eat. This was 450 calories plus 215. That's going to be plenty to sleep the 10 hours. Just top my thirst up a minute. And then, there's the bed. There we go. Sleep 10 hours. Hopefully with that tea, that is going to uh, really improve my condition. Well, not as much as I thought. But, it is okay. Alright guys, so we are going to leave it here for today. Um, didn't do the what we wanted to do, which was to get to the dam. Um, maybe in the next episode we can get that done. I also want to go and have a look at those log cabins. So thank you very much for joining me that was on in this fourth episode of The Long Dark. We will see you next time on Game Beater Displays The Long Dark. Thank you very much for all your support. Bye bye guys.